When we think of protecting the environment, we think of options we can do while we're still alive, like recycling or conserving water. But do you know there are green end of life options? Reporter Dania Backus looks at how people choose to protect the environment after their time here on Earth. She was very strong and put up a really good fight. Donna Augusto lost her mother to bladder cancer last April. I knew that she wanted to be cremated and have some of her remains spread with my father's remains. Instead of a traditional cremation, Donna decided to go with an eco-friendly water cremation or aquamation. It combines warm water and an alkali solution to decompose the body. It does not put any uh, emissions into the air. Phil Barrick is the president of White Rose Aqua Cremation in Escondido, California. He says water cremation uses 90% less energy than flame cremation. How do people get ashes from this process? At the end of this process, you still have the bones. The bones are then run through a processing machine that basically turns it into a very fine powder. Aquamation is just one approach to environmentally friendly burials. Some people want to give directly to the earth by turning their body into compost. What body composting is, is a managed biological process that occurs inside of a vessel. Seth Vidal is the manager of the Natural Funeral in Lafayette, Colorado. Colorado, Oregon, and Washington are the three states where body composting is legal. The funeral home built a chrysalis composting vessel that turns remains into soil. And inside that vessel, we place wood chips, alfalfa, straw, and then a microbial brew of both bacteria and fungal agents. And over the course of about four to six months, the body, along with those other organic bulking agents, are converted into a beautiful, rich, living soil. The soil is then given to the family or donated to sanctioned farms. Vidal says most of his clients want to give back to the earth as their final act, a way to protect the environment after life. Donya Backus, CBS News, Escondido, California. Aquamation is legal in 20 states, including Minnesota. There's no legislation or regulation for alkyne hydrolysis in North or South Dakota. In honor of Earth Day, we've got something so good to go with our fresh greens, you won't want to miss it. We've got that recipe coming up next.